Welcome to Backstrap Overlay Part 2. In the previous video, Backstrap Overlay Part 1, we re-glued the peg head to the neck. The link to that video is in the description. Why are we doing a backstrap on this guitar when many peg head brakes can simply be glued? In my opinion, this guitar is a candidate for a backstrap for two reasons. First, the peg head is completely severed. Second, the gluing surface area is so small. For this reason, I instructed the customer that an overlay was the best way to guarantee a long-lasting repair. Hope you enjoy this video. Please do me a solid and like and subscribe. It'd be awesome. First up, getting them tool sharp. Look, Ma, no arm hair. Using some Ibex planes to create the scallop for the back strap. Using the anvil of a combo square as a flat sanding block. Bringing the light down and checking the lateral square of the scallop, this is really going to be a make or break situation for getting a good fit with the back strap. Using a contour gauge to get the line of the back strap. Laying out the line on the piece of mahogany, trying to get as much long grain as possible. The double stick sandpaper is mostly for marking. I'm coming back and removing the marks left by the sandpaper with the microplanes. You're going to want to do this about 5 billion times. Well, 6 billion times. Really. After the six billionth time, check your fit to make sure it's ready to be glued up. This little thing I like to call glue. Let that sit overnight. Pretty important to take the clamps off before you start carving on it. start out with a pretty robust chunk of wood. One thing I don't want happening when I glue a back strap on is it for it to flex and distort under clamping pressure. So I tend to put a fairly good sized chunk of wood on there. Thank you. 
After some sharp tools and abrasives, there's a shape emerging. This is what I'm calling my lifetime guarantee volute. Probably not going to last. I'll fire this picture off to the customer and we'll probably have a good chuckle and we'll come back to it and get something that's a little bit more more original looking. If you have an idea of what you think a volute should look like, if you think I had to carve a, a sailor smoking a pipe on the back of that thing or something, leave a comment in the comment section. Mm -hmm.